Well, one of the things I think is important in the, in the South Asian community is the power of the family. The family has a strong influence on what is allowed and not allowed. And you often have conflict between generations, between the grandparents who are often more linked with the old country, the parents who are kind of trying to adjust, and the children who are more Canadian than anybody else in the whole family. The children, as they grow with their parents and their grandparents, the main problem is communication. The first generation Canadian, really, those are the parents, who really don't realize how the schools have changed and what is demanded of them in the school. And they expect them, like how they were raised and how they went to school, and that's where the challenge comes in. Um, the students, when they come to school, they are not very familiar with our Canadian way of schooling. And parents are not familiar, the students are not familiar, and we need a bridge to gap this uh, this knowledge. We like our children to be six, you know, don't cut their hairs and, uh, and, and you know, keep them within, like, within the system. And uh, because of the atmosphere and the culture outside, they spend more time outside than at their homes. And they are being influenced by the outside uh, atmosphere. And the, the parents are really in a tough situation. They have to make a living on one side, uh, facing challenges, and there's a recession going out there. And at the same time, they have to, you know, uh, keep their children within the system. So it's a, it's a tough job. They are getting Eurocentric curriculum. They want to behave like the students in school. And when they go home, they want to have the Eastern values and behave like what mom and dad tells them. And I feel that they are sort of a little bit confused. And this dichotomy is really um, difficult for them. We shouldn't let that fall, uh, you know, by the wayside because unless they're strong students and, and sound academically, will they have a future? I think most South Asians have come here for a better life for their kids and I think academics is a very critical thing so we must never lose sight of that. Sometimes what happens is parents don't know what's out there in the community. So we have to make sure that we bring whatever resources are available in the community to the parents wherever they are living Somehow we have to make them aware. Yes, it's the school's job to make them aware, but I think if all the uh, partners, community partners get together, like the churches, the synagogues, the mosques, the mandirs, if we bring those resources to those places, people do get together at the places of worship. And if those community resources come there and are available, I think the parents can, can take uh, advantage of that.